Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Science with me. Let's learn vitamin E or tocopherol. Vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. Our body stores this vitamin in our fatty tissues like adipose tissues and liver. The naturally occurring form of vitamin E includes add fat soluble isoforms. The four tocopherols and the four tocotrienols. The tocopherol is available in alpha, beta, gamma and sigma form while the tocotrienol also available in alpha, beta, gamma and sigma form. So these are the eight fat soluble isoforms of vitamin E which is also known as tocopherol. The human body only utilizes alpha tocopherol. Now the functions of vitamin E are the vitamin E acts as a chain breaking antioxidants. It prevents the propagation of free radicals. Now what are the free radicals? The free radicals are actually the harmful compounds. If their level become too high in our body, they cause illness. These are unstable atoms that can damage our cells. So, vitamin E acts as a potent antioxidant for these free radicals. The second function of vitamin E is anti-aging vitamin. The vitamin E acts as an anti-aging vitamin has been used in dermatology since 1950s. It protects the skin against aging. It protects our cells from oxidative damage and increase the blood flow to the skin, to our cells. It is a good anti-aging vitamin. Vitamin E plays a vital role in cell-mediated immunity. Now, what is the cell-mediated immunity? It is an immune response that doesn't involve antibodies. It is the activation of phagocytes, antigen-specific, cytotoxic T lymphocytes. One of the famous function of vitamin E is it acts as an anticoagulant, which means it prevents the blood to hot. Vitamin E Q0 is a potent anticoagulant, so vitamin E causes bleeding. Actually, the clots that form in the arteries, sometimes it may lead to heart attack and stroke. So vitamin E prevent deep vein clot. And last, vitamin E helps the body to use vitamin K. The vitamin K is one of the most important vitamin. What is the function of vitamin K in our body? Vitamin K makes various proteins which are essential for our body. One of the most important protein for blood is prothrombin which is formed by the vitamin K. The daily requirement of vitamin E or tocopherol in our body is 15 mg per day. We can get the vitamin E from plant seeds like sunflower, almonds, hazelnuts. Vegetable oils are the major source of vitamin E like olive oils, canola oil, castor oil, tomato, broccoli, avocado, spinach are the sources of vitamin E. Now the deficiency of vitamin E is very rare. Its deficiency can be caused by fat malabsorption disorders or by genetic abnormalities. One other disorder is ataxia. This ataxia means the abnormal or uncoordinated movement. The peripheral neuropathy which means the damage to one or more nerves outside of the central nervous system, muscle weakness and damage to the retina of our eye. So this is all about vitamin E or tocopherol or alpha tocopherol. I hope you understand this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you.